The Trump administration changing course and speeding up distribution of the COVID vaccines. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar says the federal government will not hold back the vaccine to ensure Americans get that second shot. And the government is now encouraging all states to start vaccinating anybody 65 and older. Officials say production of the vaccines has increased so they can be sure that Americans will get their second shots when they need them. Both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines need two shots to be more than 90 percent effective. And some hope on the horizon for more Illinois residents to get their COVID-19 vaccines. The state is preparing to move into the next phase of this and opening up the vaccines to millions of more essential workers. And WGN's Dana Revick is joining us now live from City Hall with that story. Dana. And not only essential workers, but also those 65 and older. The city of Chicago this week is expanding its distribution partners, Jewel Osco, Mariano's and Walmart, all coming online to help speed up this process. I don't want to gamble with my life and I don't want anyone else to gamble with theirs. The state's top doctor received her first COVID-19 vaccine today at Cook County Health's North Riverside Health Center as the state prepares to move to phase 1B in its distribution plan. I am hopeful that many people who were perhaps waiting just a little bit to watch their colleagues get vaccinated will raise their hand to get vaccine today. This works like airplane boarding. If you've missed your call to get on the plane, you haven't missed your opportunity before the plane takes off. Chicago Department of Public Health Commissioner Allison Arwadi says doses have already been set aside for the city's long-term care facilities and as some health care workers have opted out of receiving a vaccine, the commissioner is comfortable taking next steps soon. Phase 1B includes anyone 65 and older and frontline essential workers like first responders, teachers, postal workers, transit employees, grocery and agricultural workers. In Illinois, so far nearly 870,000 doses have been delivered, but only about 40% have been administered, with about 2.6% of the state population vaccinated so far. In the city of Chicago, more than 54,000 first doses have been administered to residents and more than 13,000 have received second doses. We feel that if we are going to get towards maximal impact, we have to really move both fast and slow. The Oak Street Health Network in Chicago is stepping up to help vaccinate the remaining Phase 1A health care workers. These are dentists. These are home health workers. These are therapists. These are nurses. The silent majority of people who are not affiliated with health care systems, who are not affiliated with the big medical centers, and who have been worrying alone, desperate, to try to figure out how to get access to this vaccine. As the Trump administration asks states to stop holding back second doses so they can speed up distribution, saying production has ramped up and is now predictable enough to use what's on hand as more shipments of the vaccines go out each week. Every day right now, we're getting different information from the federal government, and it is looking promising, but I want to see actual doses allocated to the city of Chicago. Now, Dr. Arwoody says in Chicago, 90% of vaccines will be administered at uh, private uh, practices, hospitals, and pharmacies, and only 10% at mass vaccination sites. Right now, Malcolm X is one of them, and she says in the coming weeks, they plan to bring two more city colleges on board. The city also trying to get more people to help administer these shots. She says they are looking into asking nursing students if they'd be willing to help.